Hey guys, welcome back. I'm sitting in Eclipse for the free Java IDE. You can find it on Google, again, if you haven't watched my other video tutorials. This is going to be a quick intro um, from Let's Program onto Java Swing, which is basically Java frames and stuff like that. Uh, so it's going to be pretty basic. I'm just going to teach you the two different ways that you can actually go about creating a frame in Java. And then later on in the next uh, video tutorial in the series, I'll actually show you how to add, start adding components and how things are actually added to the frame. And um, But that's going to be based on the way that I'm going to do it and the way I like to do it. But you can do it either way, and I'll explain it. <coughs> excuse me. I'll explain it a little bit in uh, each video on how to actually go about doing that. So let's go ahead and create a new Java project. Name it Swing. In here, create a new source class. I'm just going to call it main. That's fine. And in here, public static void main. You should already know this. If uh, you're trying to do swing, you should already know the basics of Java and actually how to create a basic class. <coughs> um, so, as I said, there's two ways to do this, and I'm going to show you the first way. So, we're just going to create a new JM frame name it frame and then set it equal to new j frame and the title of the j frame which would be like java swing source blah 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 uh, we're just going to name this test test app and then we're going to go ahead and import j frame and then there's just a few things we need to set up before the frame is actually visible and on the screen and those are frame dot set size which would be 500 by 500 that's a good size it's just uh, width and height uh, the next one doesn't matter the order uh, it's just an order I'm gonna do it and set size so the next one's gonna be set visible and true because it's not vi visible um, by default next one frame set uh, resizable or set resizable sorry to false um, I'll show you what that does in a second and then frame dot set default close operation and then do j frame dot exit on close and basically what this line does is when you click the actual X in the top uh, right hand corner if you're using Windows, um, it will actually go ahead and close the frame and it will close the uh, actual process of running through with the virtual machine. And we're just going to go ahead and run this as a Java application. And as you see, a test app, uh, 500 by 500 pixels. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and really quick just, uh, well, I'll keep that and just do it. Uh, so extends J frame is the second way to do it. And as you see we need to add, we're just going to add the default uh, serial UID and we don't need this anymore. But we're going to create a new instance of main instead in this one and we're going to do new main. Oops. And public main and so what we're gonna do is set actually we'll do it super and this is like the J frame creating the J frame with the title again we're gonna do test at uh, and set size 500 500 set visible to true set resizable to false set default close operation to exit on close and in this one you notice we don't need the jframe because we're already extending that so everything inside of jframe is already inside of this class essentially and we're able to just use the um, the variable itself and we don't have to do frame dot um, because again, all these methods and stuff are included when you extend the J frame. Um, so 
So this is going to do the same exact thing. If we go ahead and rerun this, same exact thing, just a different way to do it. And let me just set this resizable to true. And now you notice that I can resize it. And before I couldn't. But this is um pretty basic and you don't need that to write. But uh, it will be true if you don't have that line. So if you want to set it to false, you do need that. And check back for the next video tutorial, which will be covering adding on components into the frame and how to actually go about doing that and explaining it a little bit. So thanks for watching.